Homework help, week seven, day three is here. In the first problem, we have to find the mean, mode, and median of this set of numbers, which I already put in least or greatest order to save time. And then I have to decide which would be the best measure of center. So first, let's start with mean. Remember, mean means add and divide the numbers by however many you added. So I already have them added up, and they add up to 638. And then I'm going to divide by 8 because there are 8 numbers. And if I do that, I get 79.75. That's my mean. Now for my mode, the mode is the number or numbers that occurs the most. And I see 81 occurs the most. So 81 is the mode. And then your median is going to be the middle. Remember there's 8 numbers, so that means there's going to be 2 in the middle. So I'm going to split my data in half right there. So I have 4 over on the left and 4 over on the right. Now when I do that, the two middle numbers are right there. Let me switch colors to pink. And since they're both 81, that means that my median is 81 as well. So the question says, which would be the best measure of center? Well, if we're going through here, Mean, you can choose mean if the numbers are close together and there's no gaps. So the numbers are close together. They're all from 74 to 82, and there are no big gaps. So you could choose mean. Um, you can also choose mode. So we said we, we would choose mean as a possibility. And the reason why you could also choose mode is because there are 581s. That's more than half of the total numbers, five out of eight is. So mode would be an acceptable measure of center as well. The only one you wouldn't choose is median, and the reason is is because the median, you usually save median for when there's a big space between the numbers, or if you have a number that's really high or really low. Um, not that it would hurt in this case because it's 81 as well, but um, technically you would go with mode here, but if you said mean, I would be okay as well. All right, let's go down to the problem on the bottom where it says to write an equation. So I'm going to look and see what's going on from x to y. I know 7 doesn't multiply to get to 15, um, but 7 plus 8 is 15. 8 plus 8 is 16, not 17. 9 plus 8 is 16. All right, so we can't, this isn't a simple one. This means it's a two-stepper, so we'll see if you remember how to do this. So remember, we're going to start with y equals. And we're going to see what the y is skip counting by. What do you see these y values are going up by? Notice they're going up by twos. So that means the first part of our equation is 2x. Now let me go back and erase some of my marks here. So the first thing I have to do is multiply by x values by 2. So we'll start here with the 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 8 times 2 is 16. 9 times 2 is 18. 10 times 2 is 20, and 11 times 2 is 22. Now the question is, how do you then go from that number to that number? So how do you go from 14 to 15, 16 to 17, 18 to 19, 20 to 21? Notice all you do is you add one more. So if I add one more to each of those numbers, I'll get the rest of the way. So my equation is y equals 2 times x plus 1. Remember, this just means first I had to multiply the x by the 2, and then I had to add one more to get there. All right, that's it for today's homework help. If you have any questions, ask me in class. Thanks for watching.